Hey, Dr. Shakib here from Irvine Spine and Wellness Center, and this video has to do with patient experience, so stay tuned. All right, I am here with Dean, and this video has to do with the question that I'm often asked. What exactly happens in your office and what is so different about your office? Other chiropractic offices, physical therapy offices. So I thought this would be a best opportunity to ask a patient. So thanks Dean for doing this and agreeing to share your experience here. Absolutely. And I just want to make this video about what brought you here? Let's start with that. What, what is a typical case? I mean, it's wide range, but let's hear Dean's story. What brought you here? What was your chief complaint? Yeah, initially um, shoulder and neck pain um, to the point where I was actually got myself so in such a position where I could really didn't have much range of shoulder motion. And also my neck was really sore and to the point where it was tough for me to look up and even fully side to side. And how long did you have this experience before you decided to mm. look into it more thoroughly? Long I time. assume I assume I mean, you, you know, were adjusted you, before, right? Yeah, I've been adjusted. I've been to physical therapy in the past, but never had a situation that took care of everything in one place. Um, but what finally brought me in was you, you, you finally have enough pain and you have to do something. It's desperation. Right. And uh, so that's always good to hear because also one thing that happens in a, in a, thankfully in a good chiropractic clinic is in addition to adjustment, there's some kind of a rehab that takes place. So let's talk about, I don't want to mix too many things, so we'll do it in different sessions. Uh, but in your experience, when you first came here, was there any fears or any questions you had that uh, you know, like coming in, you were kind of afraid of what to do. I think I already know the answer because... Mm, I think more I was afraid that I wasn't going to get better. Okay, that's yeah, a I mean, valid point. And, you know, unfortunately, yeah. I, I hear that actually quite often when people are not sure if their problem is ever going to go away or if there is a chance for improvement. Did you ever try any medications? Uh, for any of the things mm -hmm. that brought you here? No, I mean, other than ibuprofen. Over know, the counter I, I really don't like to take medications, and and I've had that mentality for a long time, so oftentimes, you know, you, you will suffer That's instead right. of medication. Right, and um, um, you're a pretty active guy. I mean, extremely. I know more extremely active. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the activities that you well, do? Well, I mean, first do? and foremost, my job is very physically demanding. So I do paintless dent removal, which, you know, I use my muscles sometimes, you know, all day long and I'm torquing on metal, but I also, you know, I like to skateboard and wakeboard and I like to run and play and all the stuff that's right, right. hard on your body. <laughs> Which is it, um, actually in my practice, a um, uh, high majority of people are actually active and what brings them here has to do with the chronic issues they have. So it comes and goes, they do different things, which helps, mm -hmm. but then it's always there. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this is a typical case and I thought that would be good for you to hear it from a patient. Uh, we will be doing other videos with Dean where he can really explore his experience here more. So it uh, removes any questions you may have. And of course, I'm here to answer any questions you have. You're more than welcome to call the office, talk to uh, my team member up front, or um, send me an email. Either way, thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you want to call the office to be on our email list so you get more information on health-related subjects that we send on a weekly basis. That's also an option. Thanks for watching.